<laughs> like, what the hell is that? Good morning, everyone. So, taking a break from the vertical challenge because I really want to take these shoes out for the first run. I've been I've had them for a week now. Excited about running in them. I don't know how far I'll go today. I'm a little sluggish, so. But we're gonna try and. Uh, pick up the pace, do a little speed in them, see how they do, how they perform. Let's get going. It is a little bit later than I wanted to get out here. A little after seven. You know, it's not supposed to be a hot day today. There's supposed to be clouds coming in, so I think it's only supposed to get to be about low 80s, but sure does feel warm already. I am sweating some tears. So one thing I noticed coming down those stairs right there is uh, you can really feel the, I guess you could say the pop in the shoes just because of where my foot strike is going downstairs it would almost felt a little bit springy So why am I sluggish, do you ask? Because this dumbass, since I took yesterday as a rest day, and a little mental break, decided he was gonna stay up way too late with his dog. So I've only got about three hours of sleep. And uh, a lot of that isn't because I, I just kept waking up. Why did I keep waking up, do you ask? Probably because yesterday was my cheat day, which does not mean you can just go full gorge and eat as many calories as you want. It just means that you can partake in some foods that you wouldn't normally. And yeah, you can increase your calories a little bit. But what did I do? Ate the foods I wouldn't normally eat. And about 20 times more than what I should have. So even though I think I stopped eating about, like my dinner I ate about 8.30 last night. I can still feel food in my stomach right now. And it's almost 12 hours later, I guess 11 hours later. Don't do that on your cheat days. Hi geese. How are you guys? Now I'm about four miles in. I can't decide what I wanna do. I don't know if I have enough gas in me to really try these shoes out and run all the way up to the capital. I would like to. Or if I just should just turn around and settle for an eight mile run. Because I am sweating pretty good and I don't have any water with me. So. We might run down towards the capital a little bit. 
I'd like to get at least 10. I was hoping to get... I was hoping to be able to get uh, at least 16, but that ain't gonna happen today. Not as sluggish as I feel. And as warm as it is with no water. I do love running out here though. It's my favorite place to run. There's my view. So I love running out here. Got all the museums here. Capitol building, so much history just in this little area. Farm and agriculture right there. asking yourself how the hell does this guy claim to run the paces he does when his Strava does not show that well you may ask I will answer so I do not start and stop my watch because if I do stop my watch I forget to stop it, or to start it. So every time I come to a light, that adds time. And then, like what just happened, I literally spent probably two minutes back at that last street, wondering if I should keep running or not. Well. Finally, I decided I'm just gonna keep going. I'm so close, might as well. See, I'm so close. I don't know if I'll run around it today. I might just go around the, the little pond and stuff today. But usually I run around it, actually. I am gonna run around it. So I'm not doing any, well, I might do some vertical later, but most likely not doing any vertical. This will give me a little bit. So I'm gonna do it. Okay guys, I'm six miles in. Uh, first initial thoughts. I have had to uh, retie the shoes a couple times just to try and get a good lockdown. Uh, there is no uh, loop for, or eye hole for, the, for doing a runner's knot, which I don't like. So I, I don't know about the, the collar, if I'm too keen on it. Uh, they're not the lightest shoe uh, that I've been in, but they are light. <laughs> they don't really have a uh, rocker feel compared to like the A6 Glide Ride. I mean, you can really feel that. But I can tell that if you just stand here and then just kind of go up on your toes, there definitely is a fulcrum point uh, where uh, you can tell that it does have that carbon fiber plate and a little bit of a rocker in it. I have noticed that they feel comfortable uh, going a little bit 
a slower moderate pace um, you know we're on that uh, 730 to 10 minute pace but they feel quicker if you push that pace a little bit it's almost like the shoes are driving you to go quicker which is a little bit weird for me because I haven't run in any sort of shoe like this before so so far I'm I, is this my racing shoe I couldn't tell you that uh, Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Okay guys, so I went about 11 and a half miles. So not as far as I was hoping to get, but based upon how much food I ate yesterday, I'll take it. Uh, initial thoughts on uh, the Brooks uh, Hyperion Elite. <clears throat> Uh, they feel pretty good. Definitely the faster, maybe not the faster pace you go, but the uh, better running form you have, the more you can feel the benefits of the shoes. Uh, for me, I have a tendency to have better form when I'm running faster. So I definitely felt it when I was going faster. Uh, but there are a few times when I purposefully practice having good running form at a slower speed and I could still feel energy return uh, at that time. Uh, only complaint I have so far is on my left foot where the uh, heel collar hits the back of my Achilles. I can definitely feel it rubbing and I'm getting a blister. So I don't know if it's a lockdown or, ah, oh, jeez, see it there. If I just haven't, don't have the right lockdown on the shoes or what, but uh, I don't feel it on my right foot at all. It's just that left foot. Uh, definitely is a firmer feel uh, which I like my legs I've even though I only did 11 and a half miles uh, it doesn't feel my legs don't feel like they took a pounding so that's good <coughs> uh, yeah we'll see uh, I'm gonna put a lot more miles on them and then I'll give a uh, a full review on how I feel about these shoes. I don't know if they'll be my go-to racing shoe or not. Uh, I'll find out after I put a little bit more miles on it. <coughs> uh, at least 50 if not more so check back uh, later. I don't know how long it'll take for me to get up to that but because uh, I'm going to try and use it just for some speed workouts to see, see how uh, they do uh, for some speed workouts. So. I don't know how much of that I'll be doing in the next couple weeks, but we'll get it over uh, 50 miles and uh, I'll give you a full review. Anyways, if you guys uh, like my videos, please subscribe uh, to my channel. And uh, I'm going to keep doing these no matter if you do or not, but that uh, just helps me out because uh, then I can do some YouTube lives. Uh, so anyways, uh, until next time guys, keep out there running and uh, enjoy yourself.